Okay, hi. In our last video, we created um, these two structures, a larger structure and then a smaller structure. And what I want to do now is show you the paste into feature. We are going to um, copy this little grid here, okay, and we're going to paste it into this black square, into these black squares here. So let us just resize that as we covered before, control T, holding my shift key to maintain proportions, hitting return. And the first thing I need to do is copy that shape, All right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my magic wand. I'm gonna select the white while I'm in this layer. And then I'm going to select inverse, which is uh, command shift I, and I'm gonna copy that. It looks to me like these, this, these white lines here are so small they're not being selected, but uh, we will see. Now, let's go down to our layer that has the larger form in it and select that black square. We are going to do an edit, edit paste special, paste into, okay? So we have just pasted uh, that black grid into this black square. Let's invert it so we can see it, okay? So now hit the V so we can move that around. I'm, I'm using my arrow keys to move that around and if I hit shift, I can move them around even more. Okay, so uh, if I want to copy that shape, I'm going to hit V, hold down my option key, and hit, use my arrows to, um, to copy that over. And wow, that's cool. That looks like a, uh, like a little set of windows or something. So uh, if I wanted to repeat that, uh, I might be wise to, let me think about this. Hmm. Um, perhaps I could shift click through these things that I've copied in there and if I like them I could merge those layers and then I could select all well let me see here mm. select all copy go down to my layer that has the uh, uh, these black squares in them hit W deselect select that square do an edit a special paste into yeah, yeah, it works. Amazing. All right. I think I'm going to keep it like that. Go down to my uh, little, my little city um, uh, block there and hit W, select, edit, paste special. There is a keystroke for paste into. I just haven't really got it down yet. Uh, I don't use it enough. And there it is again. So this is kind of actually turning into an, a cool little design. I'm going to keep it like that. I could continue on. Um, pasting that in and now if I was smart if I wanted to have a, a vertical column that had all of these kind of like um, little uh, window lit window shapes in there what would be the smartest thing to do the smartest thing to do might be to flatten all of my layers to select everything that I don't want to um, well sorry I didn't mean to do that um, let me see I want to uh, whoops, I didn't want to do that in there. <laughs> I want an apple delete, fill it with white. I'm going to select that, apple delete, fill it with white, deselect. And now I'm going to select these here and I can, let me think how I want to do this. If I want to select them, I'm going to use my magic wand to select the background. I'm going to do apple shift I to select inverse. And I'm going to use my move tool, hold down my option key, and I'm going to move those down. And I'm going to move those down. I like to hide my marching ants, Apple H, because you can see here that I'm, you know, I want to get them a little bit more exact. Hit V again, hold down my option key, hold down my shift key if I want them to be perfectly aligned. Use my arrows to fix those. Okay. You can see I'm using a lot of keystrokes there. Now, now what's interesting you'll see over here is that it did not create a new layer every time I copied. If I wanted to do that, all right, what I would want to do is hit paste, no, sorry. I would want to um, use my magic wand, select the white, select inverse, copy, and then paste. And I would, I would paste them like that. Now it's in another layer, much more easy to, to move around. Now, you, you see this piece here, uh, it's on a background layer, so I can't really move it with my move tool. Watch, I'm gonna double click it and turn it into layer zero. And now 
I can move it around. So this is becoming much more interesting than that black set of squares that I had um, previously. And if I want to kind of pretty this thing up, I'm going to drag a selection around it. I do old school um, cropping with the selection tool. Now I've got that um, kind of you know nicely bound cropped for presentation. Last thing I want to do is flatten it. And I'm going to see what it looks like inverted. I'm going to flatten it and invert it. I'm going to hide that selection, Apple H. And here you can see that um, I have the option of doing it, um, doing the inverted piece as well. So I'm going to leave you with that. That's a lot to cover, but you know, play around with that experiment and see what you think.